Hey there. Today we are going to change the final drive oil as part of the 12,000 mile uh, service on my 2016 uh, BMW R1200 RT. It's a very easy project. <clears throat> In fact, it's recommended every 12,000 miles. I now do it with every oil change every 6,000 miles just because it's so easy. Um, you'll need the uh, 75W90 uh, final drive oil. Uh, I made a little um, jar that I bought from the drugstore. I measured out 180 millimeter, milliliters because that's how much you need to add of, of new final drive oil. And the two tools you need, uh, you need a six millimeter hex for the, um, uh, to add the fluid, and then you need a T45 Torx, uh, which is the drain plug. So uh, let's go get to it. Okay, let's start by removing the drain plug with a uh, T45 Torx. So let's get to it here. I've made myself a a uh, little drain bucket out of an old milk carton. So here we go. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. Well, again, I change it every 6,000 miles, not every 12,000. Okay, so we'll let that drain. Okay, fluid is almost all drained out. I'm going to go ahead and open the filler using a 6 millimeter hex. Okay, everything is drained out. We're ready to uh, place the, uh, the drain back on. So I, uh, I cleaned out all the gunk that was inside of here and I put on a new uh, O-ring right there. So uh, let's go ahead and hand tighten that for right now. Get my milk carton out of the way. Okay, and with our T45 Torx, we will, I'm just going to kind of hand tighten it. We'll torque it down uh, after we've refilled the, uh, the final drive oil. Okay, the, uh, the drain plug. Is installed back uh, hand tightened. Uh, I'm ready to put in the final drive oil. As you can see, I've um, made a jar that I pre measured out 180 milliliters. So I filled that up and I am ready to uh, begin filling up the drive, the final drive oil. And there's nothing fancy about it. You just kind of give it a little squeeze and let it, let it fill in. All right, we are almost done. Last little drops. Okay, there we go. Let's clean that off. That's a little spill that I had. There we go. Let's put the filler bolt back in. I put a new crush ring on. Okay, that's the old one. I've got the new one is, is on there. Okay. And again, I'm going to just get this in there. Hand tighten it with my six millimeter hex. There we go. Very final step is let's torque this down. So we will start with the uh, the filler plug, but both the filler plug and the drain plug are both torqued at 20 newton meters. There we go.
Okay. It's pretty easy, huh? Well, that's about as easy as it gets, huh? That's, in my opinion, is easier than changing the engine oil. You don't have to change the filter. Uh, you don't have to add uh, four liters of oil. So again, we, uh, we needed a six millimeter Hex, a T45 Torx, our final drive oil 7590. Uh, I think it's easiest to pre-measure out 180 milliliters of the final drive fluid to add back in. Uh, both the drain plug and the filler plug are both torqued at 20 newton meters and I replaced the crush ring on the uh, filler plug and the O-ring on the drain plug. So uh, to me, this is one of the easiest parts of the 12,000 mile service. That's why I do it every 6,000 miles, but it's part of the 12,000 mile service. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.